good day folks, a good day. Look normal, Linda, just look normal. They're looking at us. Let me tell you what's been going on. There, you see all these scuff marks here. These. Okay, guys. <laughs> hey, it's like dark. It's like playing tents, isn't it? Welcome to all my new subscribers. Good to have you on board, guys. Let's rock. Hey guys, guys, guess what month it is, just guess, yep, you've got it, boating month, it's, oops, oh, some police coming here, just bear with me for a minute, let me just go by the police, there we go, just look normal Linda, just look normal, they're looking at us, <laughs> just look normal, that's it, we've gone by, we've gone by, you didn't see me videoing, thankfully, oh, that could have been painful, anyway, um, yes, uh, there's only one thing I do in March well two things actually restring guitars for those regulars uh, on my channel you know I also play the guitar um, but no March is the time for the boat and getting the boat ready and we've not seen the boat Linda for how long has it been now uh, well since November isn't it babe yes November yeah. eh? Yeah. November was last time we saw it properly so uh, we're going to go to the compound where we keep it once we've took it out of the water and all that at the end of november we always keep it in the compound um which is only about 10 miles away from where we live so um we're going to go and just uh, ascertain what i need check it all out got a new cover i'll show you that as well and uh give you a list of a few things that i've had done to it that I wanted repairing or replacing so uh this is the first day of getting the boat prepared for sea. Oh yes. Oh yes, yes. So uh, yeah, so we'll catch up with you later. The next time you see us, guys, we'll be on the boat. In the compound, that is. All right, rock and roll. On the way to the boat for the first time this year in 2020. Have I said that before? Yes, I have. I'm coming to my favorite coffee shop. Yep, they do beautiful. Ham, cheese, and tomato baguettes. And this is the lovely lady. Hello. Hello. Good morning. Hello. <laughs> and she's now um, making uh, Linda Lou's and I a nice coffee. And she's got some, some fantastic, look at these biscuits, look at this. Look at this, look, look. Cookies with Quaker and honey, chocolate and linseed. This is why I stay so healthy, guys. And she's making a coffee for us, aren't you, my darling? To start the day oh yes and they always have some fabulous bread here freshly baked in my village actually believe it or not so yes yeah, a lovely sunny day today and uh, we need some food look at that croissant there look at that wow okay guys we're just coming into the compound now beautiful boat city look at these bad boys a holy mackerel my baby's over there let me give you a little tour of a boat compound in crete on crete in greece that sounds like a machine gun and this fella just there in the distance is the main guy it's his business Macalis, superb engineer that's his pet dog but he licks you to death he can't wait to lick Linda's legs. <laughs> but there we go, you see? All these beautiful vessels. Hey? Eh? What do you reckon to all that then? And my bad boy is behind that one there. There she is, look. We wind the window. The red one. 
That's the old girl. Hello, baby. This is Macaulay. How are you, mate? Fine, fine. <laughs> and that's his pet dog, ready for a beer. <laughs> How's things, buddy? You okay? Yeah, I've come to uh, make a list of what needs doing with my boat. Okay. Yes, McCarley said he's going to move my boat um, nearer where all the water and the electric is so I can start working on my boat tomorrow mm -hmm. once I've made my list today of things to do. There she is, guys. This is the my little sweetheart. This is covered in dust at the minute. But you might have noticed that uh, I've had, oh look at these scuffs marks here, you see that's where the compounding will come in, hopefully. And get these rid of these black marks, a few little jobs. There's always some jobs to do guys, always some jobs to do. But uh, I love it. As I said in previous videos, it's as much fun out of the water as it is in. But uh, look at my posh new cover, dust cover. I say, I say what? And all this is dusty, look you see that'll all come up lovely. And uh, yes, it's very dusty at the moment. Um so yeah, so we're just gonna make a list of what needs doing. Things little things like this, like my steps, my infamous steps. You see, they can come off, I can rub them down and then repaint them for this summer. Nice little job. Um, so yeah, so uh, there's a few little jobs that needed doing. Um, I wanted a dust cover because, uh, it, as you can probably see, it's a little bit breezy here. And what we do, we get we get the sand blowing over from the Sahara Desert in North Africa, and it makes cars. Uh, you might have a white white car, but you actually have an orange one by the time the winds have finished blowing. And it's the same with boats quite a lot of dust on there but uh, yeah so uh, I'll show you around and show some of the uh, jobs that need sorting out all right so. yeah you see all these scuff marks here these are from the tires uh, that are on harbour walls when I'm more up um, but they're very easily removable very easy a bit of compound on a rag and uh, job done you can see the dust there look, look at that. <laughs> so that's why I had a dust cover yes so there we are so uh we just i just want to get uh, one side sorted which will compound one side well not compound but uh, polish with a little bit of compound in the areas that need it most um i'm also going to have it anti-fouled um in april before i put it in the water usually a, a, about three or four days before um i've had new bearings mccarley's put me some new bearings in my trailer wheel um, uh, a few little bits have been done in during the winter I had a new canopy uh, last summer the other one it lasted me uh, it's lasted 10 years so um, so it's not bad really I think that cost me about 600 euros for a new canopy um, this Dust cover cost me 450. Um, so it should have kept the inside relatively dust free, hopefully. And you can see some of the anti fouling coming off here. Look. In general, it'll take me approximately about a week. And that's just taking my time, just enjoying doing bits and bobs. And that's when I've had enough, then I'll have a break from it for a day and then come back and do another day. A few hours usually from about 10 o'clock in the morning till about three in the afternoon and then uh, and then it's uh, and it's pretty much sorted um, this is the Maguire's wax and it seems to have really held up really well you still see that you can probably see the shine of the dog or the reflection of the dog um, these are the scuff marks that comes off with uh, compound with a rag so easy and then I shall polish all the stainless steel, all the rails, the hung rails. And uh, I've also got to uh, replace this housing here. That's um, 
it's not brilliant quality actually um, I had to replace the stainless steel anchor yeah. and this is the reason why check this out so guys how did this become like this I was uh, moored up at some rocks it was only about six seven foot deep uh, not deep at all but there were some rocks there anchored in I felt a tug on the windlass I thought yeah that's dug in nicely unbeknown to me an hour later that a rock had fallen on a big well a, quite a big boulder actually had fallen onto my chain just before the anchor so the anchor had dug in and uh, the boulder had fell onto my chain then the sea kicked up um, and so I thought okay I've got to go back in the water and dislodge the anchor so I swam down, then I saw it with my own goggles. Uh, oh dear, I've got a big problem here. So I moved the boulder or kicked it over. It was, it was, a, it was a good, uh, about four foot wide boulder. So uh, a bit of bad luck there. But anyway, I was able to move it. And then I saw the anchor and I thought, okay, we'll dislodge that. So I pulled that from under where it was dug into, again, behind another rock. And then uh, hoisted it up and then looked at my uh, windlass or my uh, roller bar and this is the result guys. Oh dear, another $200 new kit required. One bent anchor and one totally messed up roller bar housing. So that's why I had to replace this. And I've got a new housing that's going to go on there. And uh, other than that, it uh, should be cleared up pretty well. Oh, and I must apologise, by the way, uh, for all those new subscribers that thought they were subscribing to a Boating for Beginners channel. Um, I know recently, in the winter time, with me being a bit of a musician, and I've been for 40 odd years, I'm still into music obviously so um, so during the winter I like to put little videos together of music tracks for restaurants and hotels and wine bars and anybody that has a dinner party at home some nice chilled out relaxing music so I do all that and I enjoy it it's still the creative side of me so, um, so I'm sorry it's been a long time since you've had any uh, boating videos to look at and enjoy but uh, anyway they're going to be on the way from now on all right it's march it's 2020 and we're rocking there we are so we'll make a list now of what needs doing and we'll start work tomorrow okay guys time to check it out see what's uh, what it's like underneath okay guys right let me tell you what's been going on there is my new fuel tank that i had two years ago because the other one leaked halfway across suda bay yes so mccarty did tell me that he's uh what he's doing there the tank's fine that's been uh, custom built 162 liters uh, that's what it'll hold um it's been superb actually but the flooring the actual flooring of it um, was getting weak almost like a trampoline which is not good so what he's doing is he's having reinforced a new plate that will go in there um, as you can see this is why I had a dust cover this is before I had the dust cover. <laughs> um, why it's exposed right now, because the cover that goes over here is being reinforced because it was becoming like a trampoline, very spongy. So Macari's uh, sent it away to be reinforced and then we can have that put back on. So that's cool, but it's a great opportunity for you to see the, uh, the new fuel, fuel tank that I had put in two years ago. I also had to have a new door as well. A new sliding door into the cabin um, and I'll tell you the reason why basically I'm just going to do these clips come on not the easiest thing oh, there's always an awkward one isn't there come on get 
going. There we are. Come on. Come on in, guys. Come into my cabin. There we are. Oop. There's two. Oh, I've had to have a new door. There we are. I've had to have a new door there because um, over the, this this boat was built in 2009, and obviously people and including myself and the original owner there's only I'm, I'm the second owner by the way um obviously we opened the door and we slided across like that and uh uh it's it got weak in that point obviously they're slamming it that way they're pushing it that way and sliding and um so i had to have a whole new door and that was a pretty penny but uh anyway got it done and everything's sorted so to give you an idea it actually doesn't look too bad okay guys <laughs> hey it's like dark it's like playing tents isn't it check out the cabin oh dear oh dearie me a little bit of tidying up there's the old kettle oh yes but a little bit of tidying up to do but not that much really i know it looks quite a bit but it's not it won't take me any more than a week to sort this little bad boy out and then we're seriously cooking all right so uh there we go. Oh yes. Yeah, about a, I should have all this done and sorted within a week. So in the next video, guys, if you want to check it out, the next video will be all the jobs being done in one go, one video. How cool is that? All right. So uh, anyway, for those, uh, if I sit down, for those um, new subscribers. Oh, and thanks to all the new subscribers that come on board. I'm averaging about a hundred new subscribers a month. Uh, which is pretty pretty amazing really considering all I'm doing is little boating videos But I know that you've uh, found the videos very helpful, which is awesome and um, And this year won't be any different got to do um, I'm going to be doing quite a few videos about docking Because uh, I've had some requests for that. So if there's anything you want to see this year or You're not sure about then uh, place it in the comments below. All right. Don't forget to place a like and uh, and together we'll enjoy our boating uh, as much as we can all right so anyway hope you enjoyed this thanks for tuning in and we'll crack on and get some work done in the next video oh yes rock and roll and welcome back great to have you on board guys so uh, there we go guys rock and roll Okay, Mr. Octopus, nice to see you. <laughs> to see you nice. Well, isn't it? There you go. That's sea fishing for you, folks. I just don't want to drop my phone. There you go, soldier. Where you go? There he goes. Hello, Dave. Look at this, too. Ocean waves. Ocean oh, waves. Oh. There we are. Here we go. Hey, does it get much better, Dave? It does. Harmer. Look at. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Yamas, everybody. Yamas. 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 <laughs> Yamas Dave! Yamas. Hey hey! Yamas everyone! Rock and roll! <laughs> And you guys, come on! <laughs> Rock and roll! What a beautiful little mooring this is. And now we're going to visit Lucy in her home. Yes, here we are. Up on the bay and through the bushes. Oh, you know, don't buy Chinese footwear because they don't work. See? Oh, God. Although that one, my foot's got bigger. I didn't know the feet grow that big, do they? Not when you're 57 nearly, anyway. Look. <laughs> How lovely is that?
crying.